Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's just me doing my thing. I, uh, been able to do more better videos recently, so I figured I'd go back and redo the castle setup on Fallout 4. Because, I mean, I spent countless hours just tweaking this one over the whole span of playing this game. And this one's kind of turned into, uh, you know, a little actual, like, city. It's got about probably 35 uh, people living in it, you know, uh, I got, I went pretty crazy with the robots too, I think I got like 17 robots that are working in this, uh, town, here I ended up moving my, myself into this, uh, room in the castle, so now I got my own personal setup in there, got the mayor, I'm in charge, that's my house, yo, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've been, I looked at other people's videos and stuff. I got a bar at nights. So everyone, every night, people chill out there. It's pretty cool. Uh, I got, you know, houses all throughout the inside, next to the farm. There's also farming outside the main gate right there. And, you know, I got dog meat too. It's a good setup, though. It took, you know, it's pretty cool, pretty secure too. I've only been attacked a few times and. With all the turrets on the top of the uh, the walls, everything gets pretty fucked up pretty quick. So yeah, I've uh, pretty proud of it though. This was my old house, but I ended up moving everything into the castle. I don't know, it seemed like a more better room. Am I gotta be staying in? You shouldn't have to stay outside, you know. But yeah, he had a uh, Hancock at a little fucking bar down there. It was like my personal ghoul boy. I'm saying like a throwback Fallout 3 with um, that ghoul and Megaton. Yeah. And then this is kind of like a guard setup kind of type feel. That the guys can sit there and just kind of look out to see who's kind of walking towards the town. And I got, I got robots out front on uh, guard duty. And then, uh, you know, housing outside of the, the city too. There's the farm. Ramen. It's not too bad. So it's all very compact. And the whole thing that I did with this is I wanted it to look as super authentic and fallouty as it can. I wanted it to look so fallouty that it would look like it came with the vanilla game. And that's what my whole purpose was making these games because I don't like to venture out of the um you know I don't like to venture out of the um vanilla if because I like uh it to be authentic you know I don't want it to look like it's got a fucking macho man Randy Savage dragon flying around like the Skyrim and shit you know but it wasn't too bad So yeah, here's a uh, daytime, you know, showing more details you can see instead of it being dark. You know, if you guys got any videos of yours, uh, your setups at the castle specifically, uh, go ahead. See how I built up the wall there with using the concrete and the uh, structuring. So, I mean, it's pretty stout. But yeah, if you guys got any videos for yourself, you know, leave them in the comments. I'd like to check that shit out too. Uh, you know, if you guys got any ideas on something I could do, leave that in the comments too. Because I'm trying to, you know, see what other people are thinking on this game and what they type to do. So, alright, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Bye. Hey. Bye. Hey. Heads up. Bye. Heads up. Bye.